Hello, Vitev009 here. Sorry I've been away for the past few days. I've been working uh, well at 3 a.m., so I uh, haven't really felt the need to make any videos. Um, today I'm going to be showing some of the newer players, um, just some basics of, well, just tactics and how the game works. But yeah, this video is for newer players. If you're already really good at the video, you can still watch, have fun. But if you don't feel like watching, I don't mind because it is more directed at the newer players. Alright, so basically this is the buy menu. You open it by pressing B. In the first round you only get $1,000. Now, you can use this to buy a pistol, or you can not spend it and save a thousand for a really good weapon next round, or you can buy some ge uh, grenades, or I'm in casual, but normally you can buy a Kevlar and helmet, but you can also buy a Zeus, which is a one-hit kill weapon. Now what I'm going to do is just simply use the Glock given at the beginning of the game. What you should know is that you run much faster with the knife. The knife is the fastest weapon you run with. This is used to get further into the battlefield quicker, or even used to get away quicker. But just remember, if you get shot, you go very slowly for the next second. Now, as you see here, you don't have to have a better weapon in order to get a kill. Alright, so let's have a look at our uh, next tier of weapons. We have rifles, we got the cheapest Galil, and we got the AK-47, which is great for its first shot. Um, you got the SSG-08, which is one-hit kill headshots always, even if they have the helmet. Um, you got the, the SG-553, which is basically the AUG for the... Um, the counterpart to the counter terrorist. It's you can zoom in with this weapon. Um, and then you got the op, which is basically one hit kill anywhere. And then you got the auto snipe, which a lot of people really hate, but it's an auto sniper just like in any other game. We're just going to simply go with the basic AK-47. In the grenades, you've got Molotovs, which just cover an area so people don't want to run through it. Decoy grenades, which put something up on the radar. Um, flashbang, which is of course a flashbang. You got your normal grenades, and you got your smoke grenades for cover. Now I'm going to take a Molotov, a flashbang, and a smoke. This is what's known as supportive grenades. You got the Molotov to cover an area, you got the smoke grenades to cover your tracks when running through snipers, and then you got your flashbang to make it so the enemy can't see. Now what you gotta be careful is not to flashbang yourself or your teammates. Even when friendly fire is off, you can flashbang your own teammates. God, these bots are so easy. Um, if that was an actual player, I would be dead right now. But, oh well. Now, at the end of a round, you get to keep any weapons and grenades you have left over. If you can see, I still have my Molotov. Now, I could go in and click all the grenades, or I can press F2. It buys all the weapons I've bought previously. Now, if you've bought different types of primary weapons, it'll buy the last primary weapon you bought. It's good for just those quick, get right into the battle type things. But also at the same time, it buys everything, so you gotta make sure you have enough money. Now what you can see I'm doing here is I'm crouching before every shot, because this is when you are the most accurate. What you can also do, just for quick movement, is just quickly tap shift and you'll start walking. Notice how my crosshair goes much smaller when I hold shift. God, that was a terrible shot. But, what you need to do is you need to guess whether you should just crouch or walk. What I normally do is I like to crouch a lot. It gives you a good first shot. However, you are basically standing still. You yourself are a big target, so you just want to tap it and fire and then move on. Now another tactic you can do is jumping and then firing. It's good to surprise the enemy, you'll probably get one person, but as you saw there was a group of three people. You are going to die. There's no way you're going to take out all three of those people. 
And what I'm going to do here is take control of this bot. You can do that. If you're playing in the game and there's bots, if you're spectating and you go over top of a bot, you can take it over. Teammate. And when casual, so friendly fire is off. You gotta be very careful. You gotta learn the different model types for each map. Um, in original Counter Strike, um, you could easily tell who was on your team because all the models were the same for every map. But now the models are different for every map. It can be confusing at first. I know I was. But you should have um, indicators above people's names. Um, if you're a terrorist, it's always a tan color. If you're counter terrorist, it's always a blue color. So just watch out for that. And always watch your minimap. Your minimap is essential into knowing where your position is according to where... Uh, sorry. Where you are according to your teammates, and where the last known positions of enemies can be if they've fired or have been spotted by teammates. What I'm doing here is I checked the minimap and I saw that the bomb was over here. So I'm going to pick up the bomb. Oh, I could hear him. That is essential. If you hear something, that means someone is close, and you want to be very careful. Now I'm going to take the op, just to show you why people sometimes really hate people using the op. Because it is essentially a one-hit kill in any part of the body. One-hit kill. Now, when sniping, as you can notice, there are two tiers of scoping. But if you're shooting here and you need to switch weapons, just press Q. And always have your second weapon ready. Q is your best friend when you are a sniper. Fire double Q. Then it zooms you right out. You can set up for the next shot. Now why you want to do this? Because you don't want to zoom in twice to zoom out. You just want to quickly go back to your sniper and then set up your next shot oh. oh that was right right there three kills easily see this is a very bad idea standing right where the enemy is as a sniper you, of course, want to stand as far back as possible. Make it harder for them to hit you, and easier for you to hit them. Now, we're going to move on to SMGs. Um, there are a bunch of different kinds. They're very cheap, good second round weapons. My favorite, of course, is the P90. What's good about the P90, it has a nice distance and a very high damage. Um, if you can get up nice and close to the enemy, you're most likely going to kill them, but you, of course, are going to take some damage. As you can see there, I forgot to check my minimap before turning around the corner. That would have easily have saved my life, because my teammate was around the corner looking at the other guy, which places the enemy on the minimap. Now, if I was actually paying attention, I would have noticed the enemy is right around the corner, and I should not have stepped out as far as I did. Now we shall move on to heavy. Now, there's two different types of heavy. There is shotgun and machine gun. We'll move on to shotgun right now. Um, there's three different types. This is the cheapest, along with the sawed-off. This has a lot more accuracy than this, even though it doesn't show it. The Nova, you can shoot people at a much further than the sawed off. So I will show you the Nova. Now, what's bad about the Nova is it's pump action. Whereas if you were to use the other one, it's basically automatic. So you can shoot it as fast as you want to. As you can see here, I shot from a really far distance with the shotgun. It's still one. There's an enemy around the corner, as you can tell from the minimap. Now, I am a sticky situation right here. Two enemies. Probably want to use my pistol. Don't be afraid to use your pistol. It, if you can get a headshot in, it's going to kill them.
As you can see, very nice shotgun. Alright, I'm going to use this opportunity to show off the Zeus. It is a new addition to Counter-Strike GO. Um, basically, just a little, it has a little bit more range than the knife. But it is a one-hit kill no matter where you hit the enemy. It is a stun gun, essentially. Um, you want to use this if you want a nice, quick kill. Of course, uh, the enemy team is filling up with non-bots, so they're actually paying attention. Um, it is essentially one-hit kill. It's good for just those, if you're in a sticky situation, just pull it out and quickly shoot it. The Mag-7 is basically the equivalent of the sawed-off on the Terrorist Force. Each team has a different set of weapons and also some of the same weapons. Um, they basically act in the same way. They do have some slight differences. It's not like, oh, see, I heard the flashbang and I didn't turn around. If I turned around, the flashbang wouldn't have affected me as much. Now I gotta be very careful on my minimap, there's three people to my left. I can tell that they are below me. And as you can see, the Nova would have taken him out at a longer range. But this gun has a much faster firing rate, better for closer quarters. Here I am going to show you the Desert Eagle, which is a great first round weapon. Um, basically it's a one hit kill to the head if they're not wearing helmets. Of course they're in casual so they're always wearing helmets. Um, it's essentially a one to two hit kill gun, always, if you can hit them. It has a very, very small clip of only seven rounds, the smallest clip in the game other than the Zeus. Now, as you can see, why do I have a shotgun now? It's because I have it set in my options to automatically switch to new weapons if I pick them up. Options are very essential to setting up the game the way you want to play. And now I will show off the last weapons in the game. The heavy weapons. These are basically shoot your gun and don't stop shooting. Um, they are a support weapon. You can get kills with them. It is very heavy. Um, you walk very slowly and are very inaccurate. You're meant to just pelt an area with just bullets upon bullets so the enemy doesn't want to move while your team moves up. As you can see here, I'm not just holding it down and firing because that is completely inaccurate. I'm not going to hit anything, as you can see there. What you want to do is just do some short bursts so you can get those nice first few shots off that will actually go straight. Alright, this has been a tips and tricks video from Vitev009. I hope you like and I hope you subscribe. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Today I'm just bringing you a short video. It's a bit of tips and tricks for Dota on uh, just some stuff that you may not know. Like, uh, notice all these neat announcers here, different, kind of expensive, like $12 for the Kleiner announcer pack. Well, here's a neat little trick that I'm sure a lot of you don't know. Okay, so personally I don't have any announcers, but if you take a look at the top left of the screen here, you'll notice this little...